the college today held three orientation debates. The first one was on tourism. Tourism is an important economic sector in Europe, contributing around 10% uh, of EU GDP and providing over 27 million direct and indirect jobs. The Commission assesses that the tourism ecosystem could lose at least 50% of its turnover in 2020. Some areas in Europe will be more impacted than others, with a particularly difficult situation in southern Europe. The College noted that the EU tourism ecosystem faces three main types of challenges that need to be addressed, namely a liquidity concerns and consumer confidence, the consequences of travel restrictions and the resulting social and employment impacts. Possible elements of short-term and long-term coordinated European response were reviewed for action by the Commission. <clears throat> the College recalled <clears throat> that the Commission has already adopted a first set of guidelines to ensure that EU passenger rights are applied in a coherent manner across the EU during the COVID-19 outbreak. However, in order to address the liquidity crisis, it is important to clarify the rules applicable to refunds and the use of vouchers in case of COVID-19 related cancellations under the passenger rights regulations and the package travel directive. Action to make vouchers more attractive to consumers can help to ease the pressure on operators while ensuring full respect of consumer rights. Furthermore, in order to allow the tourism industry to recover, the College considers that the travel restrictions must be lifted as soon as possible, avoiding any discrimination on grounds of nationality and taking into account epidemiological developments. The Commission services are working on concrete guidelines per transport mode in view of issuance as part of a package, insurance as part of a package with a communication on tourism mid-May. The same approach is needed for the lifting of restrictions on internal borders. Assessment of restrictions on external borders is needed for the lifting to happen in a second stage, taking into account the epidemiological situation in third countries. This must be accompanied by specific guidance on health and safety and measures based on recommendations by ECDC and targeted measures to ensure the safety of individuals, tourists and workers in the various tourism and transport configurations. Work on those must take place as soon as possible to enable market players, especially small and medium enterprises, to prepare for the moment when restrictions are gradually lifted. Finally, the College reviewed the various instruments to provide short-term support to the sector and recalled the need for these measures to be accompanied with a strategic reflection on the long-term competitiveness of the sector.